Today, I want to talk to you about two tests that you can request from your doctor to better understand your blood pressure. Many times when an individual is diagnosed with high blood pressure, they are provided prescription pills and told to eat better and get some exercise without getting a better understanding of what's going on. These two tests that we will break down will help you and your doctor better understand your condition and allow for you to develop a plan to get your blood pressure under better control. One biomarker that can help us understand high blood pressure better is the B-type natriuretic peptide, also known as BNP. BNP is a hormone produced by your heart and blood vessels. This hormone is part of a family of proteins called natriuretic peptides. They play a significant role in your cardiovascular health, particularly in regulating your blood pressure. When your heart works harder than usual, as it does when you have high blood pressure, it releases more BNP. This hormone acts on your kidneys, prompting them to excrete more salt and water. It also causes your blood vessels to dilate or widen. Additionally, BNP reduces the production of other hormones that can narrow the blood vessels, boost your heart rate, or affect fluid retention such as adrenaline, angiotensin, and aldosterone. BNP is part of your body's natural defense mechanism designed to protect your heart from stress. The effect of these actions is to promote urine excretion, relax the blood vessels, lower the blood pressure, and reduce the heart's workload. Now you might be wondering, how does this relate to understanding high blood pressure? Well, doctors often use their BNP blood test to diagnose and manage conditions like heart failure, which can be a long-term complication of high blood pressure. In heart failure, the heart becomes too weak or too stiff to pump blood effectively. A high BNP level in your blood can indicate that your heart is under significant stress, possibly due to high blood pressure. Getting a BNP test done can provide valuable information about the condition of your heart and this goes a long way when it comes down to understanding the need to make lifestyle changes to improve your health. Generally, the higher the BNP level, the worse the condition. So if you're dealing with high blood pressure, it's important to discuss with your doctor about potentially having a BNP test done. Understanding your BNP levels can provide critical insight into how your heart is coping and guide your treatment plan because the last thing that you want is to think that everything is okay while you're taking medication for your blood pressure and suddenly you have a heart attack out of nowhere due to the high blood pressure. Now the next test is directly related to the minerals that are needed to properly regulate our blood pressure. These minerals are potassium, sodium, magnesium, calcium, and zinc along with a few others. An imbalance in these minerals can lead to high blood pressure. For instance, low levels of potassium can cause your body to accumulate excess sodium, leading to high blood pressure. Similarly, magnesium helps relax the heart muscles and the blood vessels, and a deficiency can lead to high blood pressure as well. Calcium helps blood vessels tighten and relax when they need to. It's also used to send signals to the nervous system and to the muscles. A calcium deficiency can affect the function of the heart and the blood vessels, ultimately leading to high blood pressure as well. So how do we know if we have the right balance of these minerals? The answer is through a red blood cell mineral test, also known as the RBC elements test or intracellular mineral test. This test measures the levels of minerals in our red blood cells, giving us a more accurate picture of the body's mineral status over a longer period of time, typically the previous three to four months. You might be wondering what's the difference between this and a standard blood test? Well, a standard blood test, also known as a serum mineral test, measures the amount of minerals in the fluid part of the blood. However, this only reflects the mineral status in your body at the time of the test and can be influenced by a recent meal, any supplements, or your hydration levels. On the other hand, the red blood cell mineral test provides a more accurate long-term view of your body's mineral status as it measures the minerals inside of your blood cells which live for about 120 days. As a hypertension strategist, I strongly advocate for everyone to take charge of their health. Ask your doctor for this test. It's crucial to understand your body's mineral balance to manage and prevent conditions like high blood pressure. Remember, the specific test number can vary between different labs and healthcare providers, so it's important to discuss with your doctor or healthcare provider to ensure you're requesting the correct test. Taking control of your health starts with understanding your body, so don't hesitate to ask for these tests and take a step towards a healthier you.